I want to um, ask you guys, since you're all like, you know, in the brotherhood and you guys all look out for each other and you guys are so hell bent on protecting the club and each other, and you also do the toy runs and um, <laughs> uh, give out turkeys and do things like that, you know, and act like you really care about the people and the kids and stuff like that. Um, well, I'm wondering why you guys aren't more interested in opening up an investigation on these children than you are, um, you know, those children that were being molested and raped in pictures without their consent. You know, why haven't you guys done anything about that? And why is, um, <laughs> this is crazy, um, Dave Burgess being the world president of the Hells Angels and stuff, you know, why wasn't the entire club supporting him and backing him and making it a huge thing when he got busted with those pictures proving his innocence? Why did he get a public defender? Why did he have to have a public defender? Why didn't Troy Regas pay for a lawyer for him? Unless he wanted him out of the way. You know, um, there wasn't anything done to an you know, open investigation on these pictures of these children being raped or molested in those pictures. And there um, wasn't any reason that Dave Burgess should um, have got, had to hit a, you know, a public defender if the club was so behind him and he was so innocent. I mean, why didn't Troy Regas get him a lawyer, the best lawyer? And um, also, all of you people that are hating on me so much, that um, are really going out of your way to, you know, discredit me and stuff, um, why do you hate me so much? I mean, why are you so angry? Unless, I would think the only people that are so angry would be the ones that are um, connected to this or doing the child pornography or somehow making money off of it or approve of it, you know, and, um, but, you know, you guys, you know, on the letters you sent me, all the hate mail and stuff, you know, how come you're not saying anything about those kids, you know, why are you trying to, um, you know, discredit me and make me look like such a bad person, um, and why aren't you asking or trying to help those kids and find out who they are and try to protect them, and, um, because, you know, I, I, wrote, I write a lot of stuff, and I've had it all over the Internet. And when Troy Regas was writing to me, you know, he wrote me a bunch of letters and telling me to take everything I writ, wrote everything I wrote about him and Dave Burgess off the Internet. And I didn't do it. And now I've found that a lot of my stuff that I've written is gone. You know, certain sites and stuff where I've written things I can't get into, including the, um, uh, the MySpace, one of them that I had with the the information about Mary S. Smith. I can't get, even get into that account anymore. Um, but anyway, so my writings are showing up all over the internet, um, but they've been altered. So people are copying what I write and um, putting it back out there and changing it and altering it to make it sound like I'm um, admitting that uh, I was part of these crimes and that uh, Dave Burgess was framed and, you know, I mean, I write enough crazy stuff as it is, you know, but now, I mean, it's like just ridiculous the stuff that's being put out there. So just so you guys know that there are people out there doing this to my stuff, you know, putting stuff out there under my name saying that I wrote, you know, things um, confessing that I had something to do with these crimes or that uh, Dave Burgess was framed. Well, it's not true. I did not ever write anything saying that Dave Burgess was framed, because I don't think he was. I think that he's guilty. And I think that if he was innocent, Troy Regas would have gotten him a lawyer. And the whole club would have been backing him up and protecting him. Um, and another thing, too, uh, you know, I know that you guys, you know, are definitely going to, I'm probably public enemy number one to the Hells Angels now, if not, not close to it. And I know that you guys want to get rid of me or get me killed or institutionalized or put in jail or something like that. You know, so if you hear that I commit suicide or if I disappear or a drug overdose or something, just know that it's not true, okay? They could do something like um, have somebody shoot me up with some drug, you know, a bunch of drugs or something, and then I would die, and then the police would say, oh, well, she was a hooker and it was a drug overdose. And then, um, you know, there wouldn't even be an investigation opened on that. And uh, so there's all kinds of ways that they could do away with me or try to have me um, committed or killed or put away or whatever. 
and one thing they're doing, like I said, is putting all kinds of information um, all over the internet under my name and altering what I write to um, uh, connect me with these crimes because <laughs> Troy Rigas literally is trying to say that I'm the one guilty for the crimes that Dave Burgess did. And, you know, it's just insane. And plus, there's so many people in the club, you know, Hells Angels and supporters and stuff, that they could easily, Troy could easily get them all to say that I was someplace at a certain time or that I did this or that to concoct some story so that, um, you know, they could put me away in prison or something, you know, because if they get 10,000 people to all say the same story about me, um, you know, then, so that's, you know, a possibility that they're going to be trying to do that. But, you know, my main motive, all I'm trying to do here is find out why David Burgess, the world president of the Hells Angels, had those tens of thousands of pictures of children being molested. And, um, if there is an international human trafficking, child pornography, snuff film, kidnapping ring going on, and if the Hells Angels are involved, and if Troy Regas is running it. If you guys are innocent, then why are you getting all bent out of shape? Why don't you help me prove your innocence um, by opening up those pictures, an investigation on those pictures of those children? You know, you guys aren't saying anything about that. Those children to protect them, nobody seems to care. You know, people aren't writing anything about those poor kids. You know, who's trying to protect them in your club? Not anybody. You know, I mean, what's really going on here? And why did Dave Burgess have to have a public defender? Why did not Troy Regas buy him a lawyer, the best lawyer? Um, I, it's a little suspicious to me. It's probably because I think he wanted him out of the way so he could have everything, complete control over the club. Because the only one standing in his way of having complete control over the club and all of the properties and everything, and um, the only one that had any, you know, power at the head of the corporation, besides Troy Regas, was Dave Burgess. And, uh, you know, the truth will come out, but just so you guys know, um, this isn't over, it's just getting started. And um, as to that girl who makes those videos about me making fun of me and stuff, <laughs> um, you know, if I think if, if, <laughs> it's really it's, it's really mean what you're doing and stuff, but still, I, I crack up laughing every time I watch it. <laughs> I do. I crack up laughing. I mean, it really is comedy, and you do a good job at it for whatever it's worth. Um, and uh, anyways, I love all you guys, and anybody who's guilty of these crimes, um, you know, then you're done. You know, you will be exposed, and if you're not, then you'll be fine. Uh, so, peace and love, okay? I'll see you guys real soon.